Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer coming to you guys with another discussion video. Today we'll be talking about the, the competitive moveset and stats for the new water psychic Pokemon, Bruxious. So this Pokemon looks like Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I'm pretty sure everybody's going to name their Pokemon that. Now this Pokemon... This Pokemon is kind of interesting. Not going to lie. I actually, for one, really, really like this. And a lot of people don't because guess what, guys? A 92 speed stat is still considered too slow for most people. But it is a water psychic Pokemon, like I said previously, with the abilities Dazzling, Strong Jaw, and Wonder Skin. Dazzling makes it so priority moves no longer have priority, they're just status moves. Strong Jaw, it powers up all biting moves. And Wonder Skin, I'm not entirely sure what that does. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with status conditions but honestly dazzling and strong jaw will be the two that you run and if wonder skin i'm assuming that most people when they do these things they put the hidden ability last so wonder skin will be the hidden ability so once again a pokemon that its main ability is the one that you want most of the time i want strong jaw person so it has hp of 68 so it's not gonna take a hit as an attack of 105 so that is not bad it's not as good as like when we've seen Drampa and Vikavolt with their super high special attack. We have yet to see anything crazy in attack since I've been going over all these Pokemon. It has 70 defense, 70 special attack, 70 special defense. So it's not going to be a special attacker and it certainly ain't going to be defensive. So I'm saying choice band, choice scarf, most likely choice scarf, strong jaw. But uh, it gets some cool new stuff. So, looking at its move pool, once again, this is a Pokemon that actually has a very, very, very mediocre move pool in the game. I don't think a lot of Pokemon, like, there's a lot of new moves, but I don't think a lot of Pokemon are really learning moves. Like, sure, they learn the new move, but they really don't get access to any old moves, unless it's via TM. Because there are no HMs. So we have Water Gun, Astonish, Confusion, Bite, Aqua Jet, Disable, Sidewave, Crunch, Aqua Tail, Screech, Psychic Fangs, and Synchronoise. So Synchronoise is going to be complete crap. Uh, Confusion, Water Gun, blah, blah, blah. So Aqua Jet is good. Uh, Crunch is good. And Psychic Fangs is good. You could also run Calm Mind and Bulk Up. Which, here's the thing. A lot of people are looking at that. A lot of Pokemon in this generation, for Generation 7, can learn Calm Mind and Bulk Up. And I'm not sure why... They can. Like, I can understand this Pokemon kind of learning both. Like, it's a physical psychic type, so kind of on the lines of Gallade being a physical psychic type, but it's also psychic fighting. This Pokemon is a psychic water. So I thought it was going to be a good rival to Starmie, but looking at this, Starmie can still outspeed. I believe Starmie gets access to Thunderbolt, so... Yeah... So, a little better. It gets, like, moves like Ice Beam, Vienna Shock, Frustration Return. Um, I believe... There's really, well, it doesn't really get that many good TMs. But then it also gets Poison Fang, Ice Fang, and randomly Rage Water Pulse. Like, to get its egg moves to have water, it's like, it's stupid. Egg move, Water Pulse, Rage. Like, seriously, you need to breed those moves in? Who even uses those moves? Like, other than a Pokemon who has Mega Launcher, which is only two, being the Clauncher Kletzer line, and then Mega Blastoise, we really don't have use for Water Pulse being competitive because we have Scald, Hydro Pump, Surf. Uh, and there's the new water physical move, like Liquidation. We also have Waterfall. But Ice Fang and Poison Fang. So I'm thinking maybe like Choice Band, Choice Scarf, then use like Aqua Jet, Psychic Fangs, Ice Fang, Poison Fang. Maybe Crunch instead of Poison Fang or something like that. Like It's not really anything that extraordinary. Like It's, it's a cool looking Pokemon. It looks fun to use. And I'm excited for it. But I don't think it's going to be used competitively that much. I'd say probably for tier, whatever tier Basculin sits in. Maybe slightly above him. Maybe like one of the borderline tiers. Because Basculin, Choice Band, hits hard. But this thing is slower than Basculin. So, yeah. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Uh, tell me what you guys would build out of this Pokemon. And if you guys want to win a copy of Pokemon Sun and Moon the Pokemon Sun and Moon Dual Pack, to be exact, with the 200 Pokeballs and the Special Edition Munchlax. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys think of this Pokemon, and I will see you guys next time.